All right, so uh, welcome to the second video about storytelling, which I sure don't make directly after the first one. No, yes, I did. But but um, I'm going to talk about the first four tips of storytelling by Pixar. I just want to a little bit talk. It's not long. No. You admire your character for trying more than for their success. That's the first tip. Many storytellers go easy on their characters because they love their characters. But good story often has a lot of trial and error. This is very common in games actually. Because if you don't fail in a game, the game is most of the time boring. Not always, but it's more boring. It makes the game less fun. If the main character or the player never fails, it is not very interesting. But then again, if the main character or play player keeps failing, it also becomes boring. An interesting thing is a normal person doing something great. And normal persons, they fail. So if you don't let your character fail, they're not a normal person. You see that a lot in Harry Potter. Harry himself is not especially powerful. He doesn't have magic more magical powers than, than Voldemort. He, yes, he has his love, but, but he's more or less a normal po person who is chosen to defeat Voldemort. And he's actually a pretty normal teenager. And it's not that Harry is like all knowing or, or super smart or, or super good at everything. No, he has his flaws. He's not good at potion making. He He's good at Quidditch and he's good at the Dark Arts, but the rest of his classes, actually, he isn't good at the rest of the classes. And that's what makes this story so interesting. And J.K. Rowling knew that. So J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter as a normal person. Let's go to the second tip, because the first tip is now talked about a lot. The second tip is keep in mind what's interesting to you as an audience not what's fun to do as a writer. They can be very different. <laughs> well, uh, this was the second tweet she posted, so let's talk about this. Yes, I know what you are thinking, and I was thinking it too when I read it. If you love writing and if you spend a lot of love in your work, then, then it will be great, right? Well, what, what, what's this? Do, do, do I have to write things I, I don't love to write about? No, 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 that's not entirely it. But it's for visual speaking that these things, tips are. And that's where this tip comes in handy. When you are writing a script, you sometimes forget what the audience knows. The audience will not know what the person is thinking or what you are thinking. And maybe you know how the person feels, but... The audience doesn't always know that. And you should write that down. There may be also things that some characters do and, and that's logic for you, but, but you have to see that that's also logic for the audience. And, and a lot of writers, screenplay writers, forget that. They, they, they don't always know what, what the character is thinking and, and that's difficult. What this also means, and, and let's talk about Crimes of Grindelwald here, is pacing your movie. Maybe you like showing off things, but, but sometimes story get lost his focus. If, if you are too much ex experimenting with things and, and showing off things that you can do in movies. There are those pacing rules and, and three, three steps progress and, and things like that. I, I will not explain them all. This channel, again, this channel is not about storytelling, but keep in mind that they are there. And if you are writing a story, maybe look them up. Because they are important and, and J.K. Rowling didn't follow them with Crimes of Grindelwald. And that's uh, about that same movie. Crimes of Grindelwald, the movie, explored a story that's dismissible. She gave a background about the character and then just removed it. She, she killed that character and, and you could you could skip that movie probably. Just just the end scene is important. 
and that's not what watches are, are, are looking for but probably JK Rowling loved writing that movie but she didn't think about the audience okay the third tip trying for a team is important but you won't see what the story actually is until you're at the end of it now rewrite this is a funny tip and especially about the last part not the team part but um, you won't see what the end is uh, at the end rewrite it it's uh, interesting because of coco if you see it if you look at coco you see dante turning into a spirit animal and then if you can look the movie again you see that Dante acted the whole movie like a spirit animal without looking like one and and I guess the writers of that story rewrite it again and change that maybe and what about the team? well I think if you decide your story and you, you write your whole story about this and this and this and this has to happen you, you don't start with the team maybe you write your story and then look at your story and then you can decide mm, that's a lot of that looks a lot like this team and then you can write it in that team and rewrite it but not starting with a team because that makes it difficult probably that's what this tip means now the last tip for today the fourth tip of Pixar's 22 tips yeah you know it already once upon a time there was Every day, one day, because of that, because of that, because of that. Until finally... We know this already. Super Carlin Brothers made a great video about it. Um, I sometimes play it with my friend. And, and we, we like it. Just I ask the questions to my friend and, and they, they say something. And then you have a story to laugh about. But I think it's... If you if you if you think you have no inspiration for a story, maybe try to fill that in. Maybe you know for uh, this game, huh? It's about this character. So once upon a time there was this character. Uh, every day he did this, but then one day he has to do this. Just fill it in. But I'm not going to explain the entire thing. I leave a card for Super Carlin Brothers. They are they did a really good video about that. It's one of their few videos about real science because a lot of the time they are busy about science, about movies. But those are the first four tips and I see you in the next video. Um, maybe with the next four tips or maybe with another video. I don't know yet. I'm not going to make another video today. I, I already made two. So I don't know when I'm going to make the next video. So see you in another video. Oh, and what? wait. wait. If you want to see the other tips or if you want to see other videos that can come in handy if you want to make games or programs subscribe and if you like this video like that's important to say because people forget that everybody says it on youtube and there is a reason for that bye